true release leads to inner peace. There is a difference between worry and attention. And hello everybody, this is Mandolin. No, I am not at the landing today. I have been trying to escape children. <laughs> They're out of school or for whatever reason they find me fascinating. So they are being occupied by another adult. I got ready to go out to do the video and lo and behold we had an afternoon storm blow in. It's important for me to get this message out so I am going to go ahead with it now and just supply some random pictures for you to enjoy. Welcome back and if you are new I am so glad to have you and I encourage everybody to share these videos, talk about the subject matter and other things going on in your experience down in the comments this is definitely a place to connect and I want to give so much gratitude for everybody that has been sending me encouragement and support and Mama Reba came home from the hospital today so it's a good day back to the subject matter worry means that you don't see the divine hand at work it means that you're expecting an undesirable scenario but to pay attention is to have awareness and express desired scenarios and your possible role in such when we're constantly keeping our energy focused on a situation we are keeping it alive and also consider that you may want to control an outcome to your desired result and not take into consideration the others that are involved and quite possibly you are hindering free will in doing so. Your invested energy is in holding on to it so tightly so when the situation progresses or even comes to fruition you're surprised. Instead of opening your awareness to other possibilities you tried to manipulate it into your control. So here you are suddenly faced with a situation and no awareness of how to experience it. And right now you're probably thinking, oh, well, it sounds easier than it is, or it's easier said than done. Well, I'm right there with you because that was my go-to response, my go-to excuse. Let's call it what it is every time I was faced with change or what I considered to be um, you know a shortcoming I didn't measure up it really is that easy believe it or not consider this if you're trying to hold on to a wild horse that's going to take a lot of effort and it's going to be quite stressful on you and the animal so how much effort is exerted in just just letting go why were you holding on to it anyway the answer to that is probably to control it. In reality, you were hijacking the free will of a living creature. You were trying to bend it to your will. So now you're tired, you're bruised, you're frustrated, and most of all, you're way out of sacred alignment. You've got big lessons coming your way. So why not just allow your fingers to uncurl? Let your muscles relax. Respect the sovereignty of another. And then you can appreciate and respect your own sovereignty. Take a moment, catch your breath, and return to that energy that knows. You still hold it. You are that energy and it is you. If you desire an experience, partnership with the horse. Make your intentions known and let it be by choice. More is accomplished through agreement than by force. Perhaps there is already another agreement in force and that's why there was resistance. So to be sovereign, you must respect sovereignty. And that brings the law of attraction in. If you're not respecting sovereignty, then your sovereignty is not going to be respected. So to respect 
sovereignty, you must let go. It's not about control. It's about flow. And to be in the flow, you must experience change. Change equals growth. And that is the mission. Change is there to help you master new energies and frequencies. And discomfort is the best fertilizer to encourage growth. Just breathe through it. Every time you take a breath, feel that you are supported and uncurl just one finger at a time. And as you release, experience the rush of the power of that release. As you surrender to the flow of creation, return to that pure aspect, that pure energy, the frequency of light, your I am presence. Let yourself be whole, complete, satisfied. In letting go, you truly do grab a hold of everything that you desire. Let it come to you in divine design. Not divine time, because that's a 3D concept, but divine design. The design of creation of creator. I hope that that is resonating for somebody because it has been a stretch getting it out. And apparently I'm being called, so the kids are probably looking for me. It's not easy being the biggest kid in the crowd. <laughs> so I'm going to send so much love and so much truth and so much light to each and every one of you. Know that these are transformative moments that you are experiencing. And receive the light that is being sent to you by the universe, by your higher aspects. And enjoy each moment getting every single thing of the experience that you can out of every single moment. <laughs>